Welcome back to Birkanik's Garage. In today's episode, we are at part two of our weight reduction. So what we are going to do is remove the seat, remove the carpet at the front of the car, remove the door cards, remove all that stuff, all the trim, the speakers, and all that good stuff. Central console. Uh, we'll see, I'm probably going to keep for a while because taking care of the electronics is a bit more long-winded so I want to keep that minimum in this episode in the previous uh, weight reduction episode if you haven't seen but as you can probably tell I show you how to strip the rear so I basically show you how to remove each trim and stuff so it's done nicely so if you want to you can put it back or at least sell it off um, so yeah, it's weight reduction with respect, uh, not not like I do on everything. But anyway, let's crack on with it. And first, I'm going to show you how to remove the seat. Okay, so for the seat, you're going to need one of those guys. I believe they are called M40, or on it, it's also written CRV10. But on the box, it's in the row, it's an M40. So. It is one of each, but anyway, you will need those. First thing to do, slide your seat all the way to the back. And that basically expose your easy one to remove, the one at the front. The rear is not too bad, but you can't come up with a tall tool, basically. But anyway, let me show you what I mean. So, what we want to do is remove this guy here. This guy over there. Switch it in, turn it, once they're broken, they actually come very easily. And then we will basically slide the seat all the way forward and do the same at the rear. And now here we are, this guy here, this guy over there, again, same tool. But like I said, if you have something a bit too tall, it might be a bit tricky, especially on this side. But me, the way I do it, I just come in with a spanner. And here we go. You can see they break very easily and then bend it and twist them. Because basically, once we remove both of those, what we can do is just. So here's the seat. The trick is the seat. Oh, not too bad. He might want to come on you depending on the angle. So. To be careful, but basically, then underneath you've got this little trap here. And yes, I know my car is dirty, but now you can start to understand why I never cared much about the interior. But anyway, so here you go, They're, they all come so nice and easy as well. It's quite satisfying. So, those two just press here. The little guy, as for the airbag, you need to lift this guy here, and then it comes up. And then we've got one more small black one here. Again, press, press. It's a bit trickier, this one. There we go. But yeah, you see, this one's slightly trickier, but. This one, if you struggle, just take a flathead screwdriver, but like I said, you see, I've managed with my dirty finger. And here we go. Alright, I kind of want to, uh, normally I weigh everything at the end, but here I kind of want to see the weight difference between a boss seat. So I've set the scale on the floor again, sorted out my pocket, so I'm bang on 75 kilograms. Let's weigh the S3 seat, and then we will weigh the, what is it? motor drive seat which roughly was the same as the Sparco equivalent anyway so anyway let's grab that seat 102.3 oh it's 27 kilograms yeah <laughs> 85 kilograms so 10 kilograms so just by switching on those are not like fancy mega light you know carbon fiber seat so they are affordable driving seat on Duzer we drop 17 kilograms and well, that's including yeah so probably I recognize that it's a kilogram there if not more 
So yeah, pretty massive saving. Two seat on that 34 kilograms there, add that to the 70 kilograms from last time. That's already a hundred and four, and then you add that 10, so 114. So yeah, we've passed the hundred barrier. So let's see now if by removing the trim on speakers on door card can we actually reach like 150 would be nice. Best way to tackle the front is basically to remove that first because as you can see this is very much through the carpet so you won't be able to take the carpet without it and also it doesn't stop that trim it very much go through the trim here so let's take that out we obviously need to remove the little plastic cap there we go, and then looks like the same tool that we use for the seat. Actually, my bad, you want the size above, you want a 50 for this one. Store all your part away, and don't forget this, that is inside the carpet. You want to keep that as well, in case you want to put your carpet back. So in order to remove this part, it's a lot easier if you remove this part first. This one you just come here on this side. You can actually just squeeze your finger in there. So hopefully now obviously now it's not going to want to. And there we go. Comes out easily. And push. Making this away. Don't be scared to yank on it, especially the two here on each side feel so strong. But you just need a good yank. I mean, everybody could do with a good yank on it. And here we go, <laughs> look at that. That's... So, normally they don't come out as, as easily, because this part here, you've got the mechanism that will click into this. So in general, what you would do is basically put pressure on this one, so that you leave this one up. Um, yeah, I mean, this you just yank on it too. You will also need to basically, you don't have to unplug all of it, but we'll need to unscrew it because the carpet does go underneath. So those are easy, you just grab them with your nail. You can see, I don't know if you can tell on camera, you've got little races. Just put your nail in there and then just pull up on them. There we go. And then keep them nice and safe. You can remove the cover. And as you can see, the plate is stuck in. A couple of stuff here and there. Then it comes up. As you can see, there isn't any on the other side. And then we will be able to move the base. Okay, we got that guy out of the way. So. The reason I'm thinking we don't even need to unplug it is because that hole is basically big enough for it to go through. So this to remove, you basically need to lift this. And then you've got a couple of 10 mil here. And then underneath this little tap, guess what? You have one more to remove. That's the cleanest bit of carpet in the car. <laughs> but yeah, so basically after all, just... You've got that, that kind of try to hold it down, but yeah, it just comes out nicely. Yeah. I think this might explain why that trim came out easily. I think the previous owner might have installed some like... Ambient lights or, you know... That's the kind of stuff we care about. Alright, this side a bit more tricky. We have T20 in there. And then here, if you look, can you see the little... This is there behind. You basically want to put a flathead screwdriver in there and pop that little plastic bit out. And then when that's out, 
this should just come out and we can remove your tin. In there, looks like a T30 probably. And uh, looks like that's connected to that, which have, you can get rid of those with a uh, flathead normally. And I believe... Uh, central console, first we want to remove this panel. Use trim remover tool guys, I do have some somewhere, but I don't know where they are. On. I seldom care, but reusing all of this. But yeah, trim remover tools, obviously better to remove trim. So we're going to have a plug for that somewhere. And I've actually broke a little bit of it actually. As you can see, I pressed a little, try to press on it on the top part here broke. But anyway, not a massive deal. Okay, so those guys are 8 mil. But there you got little clips, which you can press when needing the camera. So basically push. There we go, one more part removed. Next. We basically need to pop this guy out on that little plate. Trim remover tool here. And we pop it again. I don't have a trim remover tool, but if you go with a screwdriver, get in there. Okay, once you've got that out of the way, you basically want to grab this. It's basically this whole piece all the way over there, just one piece and it's just clipped on. So you need to really need to grab on yank, yank hard, you know, rather than it's going to feel comfortable, but at the same time, plenty of cables. So you don't want to yank too hard either, you know what I mean? Right, this one on the side. A little clip here, just oh, the black might stay on, and then you still have one guy over there, and it's on the side as well. You can see here, and the lightning for those. Again, where is my little screw driver? Little clip here on the side. And we can go. And there we go. That's actually a fair amount of weight. All things considered. Eight, eight mil. Eight mil. Eight mil. Looks like a couple of ten mil as well down there. But I'm not sure whether they will. You need to remove those or not. The carpet seems to go around. But anyway. Let's take the rest of the central console out and then we'll find out. If you look underneath here, there we go. T20, remove them on each side. Alright, it's time to tackle those. So here yeah, you've got choice, you can either go in with a 10mm socket or with a T30 at the top. Alright, to take it out, you will need to make sure you're on drive. Probably easier if you remove the knob, but it's basically you need to pass this. But, you know, this is sort of flexible, so I've managed. And because you've got that pull step, you know, when you put it in sport mode or whatnot, so I was actually able to pass it over. So now we still have some cable to do. The USB port in here. And we've got this little guy in there. That plug here is not right behind, but almost. It's actually down there. If to be honest, is a lot more practical. And this guy, I'm trying to put you straight, but. Uh, Basically, pin at the top for this one. 
And a pin on the side, a little flex plate on the side for the black one. And now it will all come out. There we go. Oh yeah, what a piece, jeez. Alright, so I've popped it on, as you see it's a bit crooked, but to be honest, it wouldn't affect anything. And then we need to basically remove this plug here because basically the cables for it go on top. This one is already out, so yeah, just need to unplug the gearbox basically. Okay, so it's not too difficult. Lift from that point, clear the gearbox. Basically, it's kind of like lift and pull that way, sort of thing, because as you can see. Those pop out as well. But those just clip on anyway, so if you yank they'll come out. And then basically same process with all that soundproofing as well. Unless you want to keep that look, it's an interesting style. Alright, now inside is all nice and removed. So now let's do door cards and then we still have Roof liner, uh, this pillar, mm, yeah, on the speakers. I think they'll do for that episode. Door card, very easy. One T30 here, and plastic remover tool, remove that. You've got another couple, pull them out go all around and pull the clips out and then it will nice and easy go up alright, it's all removed lift it up so you have two ends So that's where we've got a cluster and as you can see it's nicely connected so this guy AM this guy there pull on that and then it comes out nicely and then you actually have plenty of Home. Use your foot for support. This guy here. Press on the little. Okay, press on the blue knob. And then just put this down. It comes out nice and easy. And then all we've got left is this one here. Which is one of those. There we go. Uh, yeah, as you see, they're kind of those little units and stuff. It's actually very clean. Yeah, okay, we've got a couple of speakers as well. So I think there is 10 speakers in total in the car. So plenty of weight to drop. Alright, so this strap there, you need to remove to remove that, as you can see, they are clocked in. And here, here we go. you've got 8mm screw basically, and then that comes, clips into that. Alright, so you can see it's clipped on there nicely, and then after we've got a little guy there. And pull on the door, don't forget to remove also that stuff. Probably doesn't weigh much, but it doesn't bit pointless anyway. So we need to remove this 
this and those guys as well and those so that we can pull the ceiling so those basically they've got little clip roughly here 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 on each side that clip it in so what you want to do is kind of like pop them out look you can see this is one of them and you basically just yeah, need to again trim remover tool if you have and there we go on the plug at the back there is no clip or anything you just you just pull away and here we go so for this one it's not quite the same this here is actually a fascia so the way you want to tackle this one is you start from here you've got a bit of a see and you can see there is some white on some skin so you basically want to be on top of the white there we go as you can see start on clipping here we go all nice on out and now we can take this thing out there we go just pull on it a bit as you can see a couple of tab at the top here a couple of tab here at the rear little Alright, so we've got quite a few bits. We need to unplug this guy here. We need to unplug this guy here. This guy is there. This guy is there. And take that out of this little support here. And that should be all good. Okay, so sun visor actually pretty easy. This one will just pop out. There you go. Don't lose it, you can see it's got like spiky. Here, this one, as you can see, it's a shadow here. We've got a little split here. That's because there is a cover here. It is a bit of a pain to remove. Once you've got it out, all you have to do is basically turn this like this and basically you rotate it like that. Oh, sorry, not even. You rotate it like that. And then it comes off and obviously you will have a little cable. This one I will pain. It's nice to like between the plug and the plastic, lift it up and then pull it out. Okay, both sides on. The little light you can leave them, they're not attached to anything like everything else. As you can see here, once you remove all of that, it's already pretty loose. Like I said, they are a bit, but you can see it's starting to come out. They are very strong user. There we go. As you can see, oh, here is it. You can see the part is fine and you can reuse it but yeah you know like really incredible and then you've got little tab in there but yeah so basically if you can grab it i've managed to pull one out nicely and then without pressure on this and obviously as you can see take this one out first because that's where the spring is and then the other one you know you can pull them up yeah just just a bit of force or press it down doesn't break anything and save you a lot of hassle unless you've got better tools there so now basically rinse and repeat for all of them I've already done this one and we should be able to take this guy down and look here we go Woo. Yeah, okay, so here in each corner, you basically got little tab. Just 
There you go. Back off. Nozzle on here. And it's off. But yeah, you can see what I mean. Here you can see they are just like squeeze one. So those ones are not too bad. Uh, yes, this one you've got basically two, like the one on the side. And then you've got that big chunky one there. Hold on, let me get you better, right? Because this is terrible. There we go. Yeah, so. Pin like that on each side. Look, this one is actually stayed up there. And yeah, that middle one is a big chunky one that was annoying. But basically, the easiest way I found to remove it is careful your finger because it's quite tight. But then when you're in there, gentle back and forth as you pull it down a bit, and it actually comes off quite easy. Yeah. Those little lights there as well have got plugs, obviously. So even though we didn't need to remove them, we do need to unplug them. But as you can see, they just got little taps on the side, so it's the same. Go in with your trim remover tool or your screwdriver, flathead, and just pop them out. Which is what I'm going to do, because I think it's going to be easier than accessing them from this little gap. Alright, so... That's a pretty... Naked S3. So now you want speakers. Basically, they're all T20s, and you basically want to make sure you get them all. So you've got one here at the back, you've got one in, in the rear door, you've got one and two in the front door, and then you've got some uh, on the little thing on the pillar as well at the front and they're all out uh, the smaller one in the front door there is actually a bit of a seal here so the best way i found to work them is basically use wrapping tool or if you have like trim remover tool and then like just squeeze in and if you go around those little knob there pop them out once you've Put a couple out, you can take your hand on like, pull it out fine, but yeah, everything else kind of, they all come up easily. All they have is, they all have little pins, couple of pins here and there, so that's why they don't come straight away, but yeah, nice and easy. What's nice about the pin is you can remove all the screw on the speakers and just fall off. Alright guys, so time to finally weigh all of that before we run out of light. I've got the scale on the floor, I empty my pocket, being on 75 kilogram. Like before, um, alright, just grab, grab big some stuff. 4.5 kilogram. 82, so that's 7 kilogram there. 2.7 kilogram, let's go with that. 5 kilogram. 4.4 kilogram. 2.7, 2.9, alright, 1.8 kg, 2.5, 4.2 kg, and I found out, actually I still need to take it off, the box underneath the passenger seat is indeed an amplifier for the stereo, so if you don't want the stereo, you can take that out, alright, 2.7, okay guys, so, like last time I watched the video on the GoPro, did some basic math, which I'll correct on the screen if I got it wrong. But basically, in this episode, with the seat, we've dropped 91.7 kilograms. So obviously, that's with no seat at all. We've said we essentially have a couple of bucket seats, which with harness are just a 10 or just under 10. Not the final one, the final one will be lighter than that. I think the final one will be more like five with harness each. But you know, overall, so we need to basically, uh, yeah, put 20 kilograms back in. That's if I want to passenger. 
when I go to uh, the drag strip, I'm not going to take passengers, so I'll do it with one seat because you know, remove 10 kilograms as well. But it, you know, essentially, of everyday weight for everyday use as a two seater, we remove 71 kilograms or 71.7. Last time we took about 70 point something, isn't it? So essentially, we've got 141, maybe 142 now with the previous dot. And like we discussed in the previous one, with the exhaust work of the diffuser on all the jazz, we saved 10 kilograms as well. So we are at 152 kilograms removed from the stock weight. So mine is Audi S3 8V Black Edition. Black Edition is basically, it's like no option <laughs> whatsoever apart from there is no chrome, it's black, and then the sound system. But as you see, the sound system doesn't really weigh, you know, it's like 10 kilograms altogether, maybe. So, yeah, they are 1,545 kilograms stock. And we just took out 142. So we are just over 1,400 kilograms weight which is quite mad you know a lot of people not those ones because you don't really get a gti like we get on the golf but some people will argue sometimes that the <coughs> all-wheel drive one because they're much lighter can do better but here if we drop the weight we're actually getting quite on par with what the golf G, you know the difference it's 200 kilograms for the all-wheel drive and we just removed yeah about three quarters of that weight so Next, there is plenty more we need to do yet another episode. There is still weight to be removed. Like I said, there is still the stereo in there. There is actually still a speaker in the dash. We've got the sound actor, which is useless, that have disabled, but is still in there. That's weight. We've got a bunch of structural metal in the boot and stuff like that to help mounting the rear seat and stuff like that. You know, means the way I'm going is there is no way back. So we need to unweld and drill and remove all those plates as well. I'm going to leave them for a while because I want a rear-mounted radiator, like on the rally car, like on the rally cross car. Uh, so I'm going to keep a lot of the mounting on the brackets that are extra in the boot, simply because some of them we might be able to reuse to actually mount everything in the boot and then when that it's all done we'll go around and clean up everything uh, aircon as well one day we will remove uh, another episode but that's a long way as well getting rid of all the glass we'll keep basically the plan will be keep the windscreen everything else plastic remove all the electricity all the you know little windows that's where we are going so you know there is still tons of weight we can we can remove uh, you know so yeah and there is I still have the MEF kit and fix the TCU too you know there is more power to put in it too guys so you know yeah it's going to be quick it's going to be quick uh, so yeah I mean <laughs> that is pretty much it for this episode guys thanks if you watched till the end uh, you know I've started to edit it and I know this is going to be a, a long episode I know not many of you are going to do this to this car not quite yet because it's not quite old enough it doesn't you know I mean it's I guess it's pretty extreme doing this unless you're in motorsport on something that you know is still recent enough but, you know, you never know, in the 10 years, it'll be a very popular <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, you know, it's been, it's been a long journey, but it's exciting. But if you're doing this, be very aware that the more you remove on the interior of your car, the more it sounds like you're driving a motorbike. <laughs> it's basically, you're driving in a wind tunnel. The wind noise is just like... I mean, obviously, in this, you know, the engine and all of that kind of make up in the Touran, it can be quite noticeable. That's why the Touran needs a good sound system. 
anyway guys if it's your first video here and you find it useful subscribe and go check the channel there is over 100 videos on the s3 basically any mod i do to it i document whether it's a mod like the bonnet exhaust which more than likely never do, <laughs> do that mod but at least it may be entertaining or you know like more basic stuff like changing the filter turbo elbow and, and all that good stuff like easy diy modification anyway guys have a good one and hopefully see you in the next one Bye.